my name is Laura and welcome to my channel Boundless Books. So today I'm going to be doing a dedicated review of the novel Fate Ball by Adam W. Jones. One quick note before I get started, I'm going to try to keep this spoiler free, but obviously I'm going to be revealing some aspects of the plot, so if you are sensitive to that, uh, please be warned. Fate Ball follows the story of a young man named Abel Kern who is living in South Carolina in the 1980s. He's just graduated high school and really doesn't know what his future holds. He's living in a town surrounded by college students who all seem to have a purpose and one night is persuaded to attend a fraternity party. At the fraternity party, Abel meets a young woman named Ava Dubois, and she seems to be the embodiment of every fantasy that he's ever had about a woman. She's beautiful, she's confident, and amazingly, she seems to be attracted to Abel. This moment kickstarts a boyhood obsession that will continue with Abel throughout the course of the novel. However, little does Abel know that Ava is not this personification of perfection that he's made her out to be. She's actually struggling with a lot of issues on her own, addiction being the primary one. I really enjoyed this novel. I don't typically read contemporary books, however I thought the author did a really good job of keeping me engaged throughout the course of the novel and giving me this interesting peek into the perspective of a young man who kind of is entranced by this vision of femininity. I also really enjoyed the narrative structure of the novel. It jumps between Abel as an adult in 1994, Abel as a young man back in the 1980s, and then also between Abel and Ava's perspectives. And it was actually Ava perspectives that I found extremely intriguing. It's really in those moments when the narration switches to Ava that you can see the, f the cracks in Abel's uh, idealized version of her. Ava is a far more multifaceted and complicated person than Abel is able to grasp. Actually, my one fault with this novel is that I wanted even more moments where the narration switched to Ava. I just found her to be such a compelling character and I loved those glimpses into her, into her life, her real life, and I even wanted more of them simply because I just thought the author did such a good job with the moments that there were throughout the book. Rather than being a novel about addiction, this is really a novel about self-deception and the way that two people deceive themselves into seeing the world the way they really want it to be. Abel deceives himself into to believing that Ava is this perfect woman, when in reality she's a human being of flesh and blood who has her own flaws. And this blindness really prevents Abel from moving on with his life and seeing the things around him that do hold true meaning for him. And Ava is constantly deceiving herself into believing that she has her life under control, that her happy-go-lucky personality is in fact who she really is. Overall, I would give this book a four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. I found it extremely engaging and thought-provoking. The novel really makes you think about what fantasy is and whether it is beneficial or harmful. It's something that is very attractive and can help us through moments when we are lost, but at the same time can also prevent us from opening our eyes and truly seeing the things that are fantastic in our lives. I would definitely recommend picking up this book, even if you are not typically a reader of contemporary novels. There's a lot of interesting critique in this book. Normally I read fantasy novels, which are all about escapism, and I think that this novel really offers an interesting take on how idealization and escapism can kind of prevent you from seeing what's truly around you in the world. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you end up picking up this novel, definitely let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of it. And please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on my latest reviews. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until next time, my name is Laura and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hi, my name is Laura and... <laughs> what's my channel name? Hi, my name is Laura and welcome to my channel, Boundless Books. 